The first hidden feature is how to play your footage back at double speed while you're editing. This can save a ton of time while watching longer clips. I assume most of you will just click spacebar and that'll go through your timeline at one time speed. If you click spacebar and then click all, it'll allow you to double your speed that you're reviewing. Alternatively, you can click J and that'll start to reverse your clip. And if you click J again, that'll do two times speed of reverse. You can use your J, K and L keys to play reverse and stop accordingly. The next hidden feature is exporting a still frame from your project. On these three lines, you can click them and say export still frame. This is gonna give you the option to export either a PNG or a JPEG directly from your video edit timeline. The next is how to add a freeze frame, a super important tool while editing. If I go ahead and click on my video, there's an option here called freeze. I can click that and it's gonna create a moment of pause for our video and I can drag that as long or as short as needed. The next feature is saving a color grade as a preset. Let's say I have my clip that I wanna grade, I apply my LUT, I do a temperature conversion, I add some brightness, some contrast, etc. Once I'm done with this, I can either choose to apply to all or save it as a preset for other projects. If I click save as preset, what that'll do is upload it into our adjustment and our presets folder. We can then go and import that preset onto our timeline. And what you'll see here is the color grade that we just changed and the values are maintained in that preset. And again, you can upload those to different projects. Another important feature for professional editors is color grading scopes. If you go to the top three lines here, you can say kaleidoscope and turn on. What this will give you is a preview of your three scopes that you need in order to color balance and color grade effectively. For my mobile CapCut users, this one's kind of cool. If you go to new project, there is a library of hundreds, if not thousands of assets for you to use. Personally, I love the backgrounds. I think there's some really cool choice of backgrounds that you can use. Intros and outros, transitions, scenery, etc. And the great thing is it's all free. You can use these without charge. So a great way to save some money, just find your stock footage assets directly from the mobile CapCut app. Another personal favorite feature of mine are the body effects. If you go to effects and you scroll down from body to funny faces, there are some hilarious effects that you can apply to your video. They are a little bit hidden at the bottom of body effects, but you know, a great feature, like let's go and apply two. I can now have a big head and that strange big mouth feature. An effect that is really surprisingly hard to find is your keyframe animator for smooth zoom ins and outs. Let's say I add a keyframe to my timeline and I add another keyframe here and I zoom it in. If I just play this, you'll see that our timeline kind of zooms in linearly and doesn't have a smooth effect. What I need to do then if you want a smooth effect is click on my video, right click and say show keyframe animation. If we click this arrow icon and then click on scale, it's gonna open up our two keyframes. You can see that this line in between them is a linear straight line. That means there's no changes in the motion speed between our two keyframes. I can then add some graphs to adjust the motion between these two keyframes. Now all of a sudden we have a line that takes a bit of time to warm up and as we reach the end of the zoom, it smoothens that out a lot more. Once you're done animating your keyframes, right click on your clip and say hide keyframe animator. Another hidden feature, but a super important one is a volume meter. You'll see here CapCut has this kind of excuse for a volume meter under our video here. What's great is if I click that once, it's gonna open up our more comprehensive volume meter on the side. This allows us to play our video, and as we play, it'll give us the levels for how loud or how soft our video is playing. Another hidden feature or kind of a shortcut is disabling an individual track or multiple. If I click on my track and click V, you'll see that it takes that video and doesn't delete it, but merely disables it. I can also select these other ones and click V as well, and it's gonna disable all those tracks. A great way to kind of hide certain video tracks that you don't wanna see while playing through. The 11th hidden feature is a captions tool. So if I click on my video and I go to captions, I can go to auto captions and generate some captions, but that's not where it ends. Let's wait for this to finish. What you'll find in this dedicated captions tab is a whole bunch of pre-made animations for your captions. You have multi-line animations, you have bounce out, a personal favorite, of mine, zoom out, fade in. That is really, really nice, this, this kind of fade in effect. Test it, play around with it, but you need to generate these captions using auto captions in order to get access to this captions tab. If your computer is struggling to play back your footage, go back to our favorite three lines and you can go to preview quality and select performance priority. This is gonna downgrade the quality of your timeline in order to smoothen out that playback while you're editing. But don't worry, when you export your video, it'll export that video at full quality instead of performance priority.
The second last feature is a new and amazing feature in CapCut. If you right click on a video that has cuts within it already, you can say split scene. What this is gonna do is add cuts for each different shot within that video, which is incredible. Let's say I don't like this shot, I can go ahead and cut that and it's gonna remove that shot entirely. A fantastic tool to save you a ton of time when cutting up clips with different shots in them. And the last feature, not so hidden, but if you go to the top right, there's a shortcut tab where you can learn so many other hidden shortcuts from timeline to player to basic to other. There are so many shortcuts that I think many of us won't and don't make use of while we're editing. These can help not only make your editing faster, but make you have a better output and better project. Guys, I hope you found this informative and that I brought some light to some hidden features inside of CapCut. See you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.